Hello, this is Hawk and the Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1733, also known as Season Opener. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-1733, Object Class, Safe, Special Containment Procedures. The DVR containing SCP-1733 is to be kept in a secure video archive at site redacted. Playback of SCP-1733 is strictly forbidden unless required for research. Personnel must contact Dr. Geller for permission to study SCP-1733. Description SCP-1733 is a Digital recording of the 2010-2011 NBA season and opening game played at the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts on October 26, 2010 between the Boston Celtics and Miami Heat. This is oddly specific. Agents monitoring social network sites were alerted to SCP-1733 when Boston have made a redacted complaint in a Facebook thread on October 27th about a technical foul in the third quarter involving players Ray Allen and Chris Isbach that never occurred in the original broadcast. When confronted, Ed Redacted uploaded the relevant segment, much to the confusion of his derogators. That's a new word. Foundation ag agents embedded in Facebook's moderate air team deleted the thread and procured the IP addresses of all individuals present at the chat at this time to locate and insert Class AM Nessix. The Motorola brand DVR containing SCP-1733 was recovered for study. Study of the footage has since revealed of the nature of the recording's anomalous properties. Although initially diverging from the original broadcast, only negligible as is, as, such as core points total was an occurrences of fouls. SCP-1733 has begun to markedly digress from the content of its earlier playbacks. Record entities have been observed to retain memory of previous playings, and as such have developed a measure of cognizance to the entities inhabiting SCP-1733. With consecutive playings greatly expanding recall of previous events. This effect is cumulative and extends to all persons in the arena. Quality of awareness has progressed from, record, from reported feelings of intense stage of move by commentator of personalities Mike and Tommy to a near eidetic memory of receiving playbacks. However, to note, no entities inside SCP-1733 has ever addressed the viewer directly or shown awareness that they reside in a digital recording. The individuals in the recording are virtually indistinguishable from their real-life counterparts. Wait, did I read the... Yeah, I did. In talent, behavior, and mannerisms on court, fans in the crowd also appear to be real human beings in all respects, and Foundation inquiries into the current status of these persons has found nothing of note. For all intents and purposes, recorded entities appear to be the actual individuals, but somehow abiding in a digital medium. TD Garden and Records have put a number of people in attendance on October 26, 2010 at Redacted. It was initially thought the purpose of SCP-1733 was to depict an infinite number of game outcomes, since players were able to modify offensive and defensive of strategies during every playback. By playback number 34, players and coaches became so keenly adapted to the opposing team's playbook that the score remained 0 0 until 334 in the first quarter. As quality of recall was still weak in early state age iterations, memory preceding playbacks likely manifested as a vague intuition felt by players, fans, and team personnel alike. Interfering with their ability to grasp the full scope of their situation. By playback 45, however, comprehension of their predicament 
had reached such a point that players declined to play all together and assembled with the rest of those in attendance to formulate possible escape plans. It is the conclusion of Foundation researchers that the inhabitants of SCP-1733 are imprisoned in the setting of the recording, as they have been unable to exit by any means. Doors leading out of the arena have not uh, yielded into an estimated force of an excess of redacted Newtons. But that looks like a five. Uh, I've number a five-digit number, so that is a lot of force. The assembly has also been un unable to exit from locker rooms, player facilities, and skyboxes. Waiting for patrons arriving in at scripted points prior to the start of the first quarter has also been unsuccessful. Individuals leave by every patron and entered and are then unable to navigate and escape from the adjacent corridors at, at girl the main area. Escape attempts have grown up on more desperate and have included failed attempts at constructing makeshift explosives, outriding riding the fracturing of the assembly into three opposing factions and play and by playback redacted the ritualistic the ritualistic murder and disembowelment of players in hopes of appeasing whatever it is that confines them. See timeline document zero zero one for details. However, upon the beginning of a new playback, offers are returned to their pre-game in status unharmed. Researchers have been unable to duplicate the effects of SCP-1733 with other recordings made by the DVR. Confirming the device is not the source of SCP-1733's aberrant properties. Due to the stress visited upon the inhabitants and of SCP-1733, testing has been suspended indefinitely. Partial Timeline Document 001 Playback Number and Notable Developments Playback 002 First recorded deviation from recorded broadcast to the garden and crowd booths in Miami Heat during entrance. Miami Heat, read for LeBron James, observed to have scowled and shaken his head dismissively at the crowd. Playback 15. Score remains 0 0 for 8 consecutive possessions. Fans appear noticeably subdued when displayed on the facility's HD scoreboard team. Celtics power forward Erd Gian Davis is able to execute a crucial block late in the fourth quarter on LeBron James. He could not complete their original broadcast. Securing the e e Celtics lead. Commentators note OGN Davis's dedication to performing well on both sides of the court in spite of the big three's blistering ball movement on offensive plays. A nauseous awareness of previously played games has begun to form. Playback 26 First Miami Heat victory, 112 to 85. Crowd becomes aggressive, shouting obscenities and hurling foodstuffs at the Celtics. Color commentator Tom Heinsohn understood the frustration, criticizing the Celtics culture staff for becoming so complacent after having cracked the code of the Miami Heat offense. As this was the first game together for the Miami Big Three, it is unlikely any coaching personnel would have become so adjusted to an unfamiliar event in a single game. Playback 27. Commentator commentators Mike and Tommy noted a feeling of deja vu during the Heat's grandiose entrance. Crowd remains subdued during East Celtic plays. Celtics emerge victors, prompting Do Tom Hent and to remark, the Celtics have come a long way, winning back the hearts of their fans. When asked to elaborate by Mike Gorman, Heisen could only respond that he felt the team had an embarrassment to atone for, but could not specify further. Playback 44. Teams emerge disoriented, disoriented and confused. Game is suspended. Majority of time is spent by medical professionals assessing the mental state of players. Who remain convinced that it had dreamt playing the season opener frequently the previous night. 
When informed of the situation by team staff, commentators Mike and Tommy affirmed the same feeling. Crowd is also afflicted, recording ads with courtside correspondents interviewing members of the crowd on the nature of their dreams. Playback 45. Players refuse to play. Caramen, facility personnel, players, commenters, and crowd members gathered in the court to appraise the situation. All persons are convinced they are relief reliving the same game repeatedly. Doors are tested but cannot be budged. Recording closes is as crowd begins to fashion makeshift weapons to pry open doors. Last instance of camera being manipulated by the camera crew. All following playbacks are seen through a single sag shot of a broadcast view camera. Playback 51. No attempts to exit the building have succeeded. All exits in the arena and adjacent areas remain as sealed. A physical alter altercation in balcony section 318 between an inhibitor an inebriated group of college-aged males and one older male leaves the older male concussed on the floor and unconscious. As broadcast cameras are unable to pick up audible voices on opposite side of the arena, presumably the, the dispute occurred over the group of males not assisting with escape plans. First recorded violent incident. That means there's more. Playback 52. The man knocked, knocked unconscious in previous playback is returning to previous state, unharmed upon the beginning of current recording. The man and ambushes and bludgeons one of his attackers to death at the 34 or minutes 12 second mark. I'm assuming. Playback 55. Cognitization has progressed to such a point that the crowd is not able to remember the events of that week, as well as friends and family members outside the facility. Attempts to contact outside for help are met with failure. Playback 65. Crowd is unable to exit the facility. Congregation has since evolved into the following groups and factions. Players, coaches, and all involved staff, team personnel have presumably barricaded themselves in off-screen player facilities. The infirm and parent parents couldn't buy their children have retreated to the northeast corner of the balcony rise and have elected to wait out Playbacks as they occur. Mark their territory with the Celtics champion flag draped over section 320. Redacted individuals, henceforth referred to as the Faith Keepers, have us a tie is to multiple gatherings that they believe being confined to the TD Garden is a punch for rapid consumerism of the post industrial world have and have earned offerings of mobile phones. Car keys, handbags, and wallets instead to court for the past four playbacks. The group comprises Boston and churchgoers and redacted. A noble portion of adults numbering approximately redacted individuals have remained diligent in formulating escape plans. Playback 73. The Faith Keepers grow in number or after previous playback incident where three males were severely injured by an ex improvised explosive fastened to an exit door. No damage to the door is visible. Playback 95 Hedonistic displays of sex and violence have sufficiently curbed the efforts of atizers. Makeshift curtains are hung around the side of an orgy of log eight at the urging of three of section three twenty eight members. I'm kind of hating this. <gasps> Playback one twelve. Conditions have deteriorated it considerably. Redacted individuals left from back in the section and opening ten minutes of playback one and hundred twelve. Playback redacted. Faith Keepers storm player facility to retrieve Paul Pierce and LeBron James. The players are ritually sacrificed and their bodies are subsequently displayed in the arena's Jumbotron. The word of player seems to have no effect on the recording. Playback redacted. redacted. 
proselytizers have begun to call for the sacrifice of children. Adults have formed a wall between Group 320 and the Faith Keepers. Playback redacted. First, record deviation in arena light to a deep red color. Data expunged. That devolved quickly. Looks like these people are s stuck or trapped in the, um... <sighs> In an old tape of a a version of a, a certain game, and they can't get out. And if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to, going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.